Welcome again, YouTube, for another edition of 215 Raider Nation uh, figure update slash pickup. Um, I was off today and happened to go to uh, Toys R Us, not in my area, to see, try to find um, Brent Hart Toys R Us exclusive so I can complete Michael Cole, hopefully pick a couple of Brent Hart's, which couldn't find no Brent Hart's. Um, so if I couldn't find Brent Hart's, I was hopefully find um, Series 14. Um, I see a couple people getting the Series 14 coming in stores. Uh, but no Series 14. So I was like, well, damn. It's really nothing here. Except some Elite 13s. So a couple of Elite 13s I needed. The Rated R. Well, before he was a Rated R Superstar Edge. And King Shimos. So first is Rated R Superstar Edge. It's not Rated R. He's saying Rated R Superstar. Sorry about that. This is Edge when he first debuted. Um, when he first came to WWE back in 1998. He only had one tattoo. I can't remember him wearing them dumb glasses. But this is like Brood era uh, Edge. If you see like the cross and stuff. This is when he was with Gangrel and Christian. Which I'm hopefully they make a Christian. So we have like an old school Edge and an old school Christian. Um... He did wear this black jacket, which I kind of wish it was cloth material black. But he wore a jacket like this, come down the ring. He was like some mysterious guy. You think you know me. That type of guy came out the um, the crowd. Pretty nice figure. Um, I bad mouth this figure a lot, which I do a lot of figures that I wasn't interested in getting. But... Um, I had a change of heart, saw uh, my bro Tommy's video. He picked this figure up. And um, this figure didn't look so bad without the coat on, which I can't stand this coat. This coat is nasty. I still think it should be a cloth coat. But I understand why they picked the black coat. I was really thinking this was an edge head um, edge when he was in a singles career back in the early 2000s before he won the belt, before he became the Radar Superstar. But, um... No, this is Brew Era Edge when he first came, debuted. Um, really nice figure. Um, you see him, pick him up. I actually picked this figure up at a Target. Um, Target only have had this Edge and a bunch of Raven Stereos. So that's pretty nice. Then I went to Toys R Us and I found King Sheamus. Now, I was going to get this figure from James Taylor. And then Tommy said he found this figure in his local K Walmart. Um, so I had a couple ways of getting this figure, but I hate waiting um, for packages, especially if I can get figures in my area. You know, I'm, when I mostly trade people, I mostly trade for figures that I can't really find. I kind of knew I was going to find this figure one way or another, but I'm happy to got him finally. Um, really nice figure. Um, this is another figure that I would I saw when it first when I first got my Cody Rose and Dolph Ziggler. They had like two of these figures, and I'm like, nah, they didn't want to get them at the time. It's too much money um, buying other stuff. But um, not a bad figure, uh, King Sheamus. It's mind me of uh, anyone you know in the Marvel comic book era. It's mind me like a Loki type figure with the crown with the spikes up and anything. But not a bad figure at all. Uh, it's like black and green and gold. When he won the World Royal Rumble. Um, I want to get this figure because I want to have something like what Tommy was talking in his video. Not to be copying off Tommy, but uh, having a lot of the King, the King of the Ring winners all together. So I am definitely need to get a King Booker to um, fit, fit that equation. But um, really cool figure. Finally found a uh, Sheamus. They had a bunch of them at Toys R Us. Um, they had a bunch of them. They only had one Dolph Ziggler. The Dolph Ziggler. Um, the reason why I didn't pick the Dolph Ziggler up. Um, someone stole the world title out the Dolph Ziggler. So like, I'm not paying for a figure that's not complete. And I can't trade without the world title. So that was kind of messed up. Um, all they got was Raven Stereos. Like, God, man. You found so many Rays, man. It's like, 
that figure, man. They need to stop making so many Rey Mysterios because they're not selling, man. People are getting tired of Rays. It's like a damn Rey Mysterio in every line, and it's like getting so corny. Um, so these are my two pickups. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping to find something else besides these figures. Um, kind of disappointed I couldn't find Elite 14, and um, definitely just I want to get that Bret Hart. I know it's out in stores, so it's just not out right now, you know, in my area right now, I guess. So I will pick it up when I find it, you know. I hope I pick up more, have enough money, and get uh, a couple of them. But, um, yeah, these two guys, you see these guys in your stores, definitely pick them up. It's very, um, it's a very nice figures. So, now my main event topic, I'm going to say topic because I don't have a main event figure. Because I only bought two figures for myself. But my main event thing is, um, it's for a trade. So, I pick up some figures that, um, that I'm willing to trade. Now, when I say I'm willing to trade these figures... Um, guys, I don't break no one balls. I'm not trying to get rich off people or make people trade stuff they don't want to trade. But, you know, it's certain things I do want to add to my collection and, um, a couple of figures I know I probably won't be able to get that I definitely want to get, um, some, how, some way. So if anyone got these figures, I mean, I'm not going to name, I always name all my figures I'm looking for in my videos. But guys, go on my channel. On my channel, I got like what I'm looking for. If you guys got any of them figures and you're willing to trade it, please let me know. A couple of them figures that is easier to get than others. The ones that I really can't get, I definitely want to get somehow. I need to get that um, Maddie Collector um, Undertaker. I know that DDP is not out right now, but I definitely want to get him. If anyone got a Brent Hart and they got the uh, Build-A-Figure piece, I definitely will get that. Um, it's a lot of figures on there. Just let me know if you got any. If you're willing to trade it, let me know. But um, just to show you that uh, I'm legit, my main event figure is a figure that is going to be very extremely rare. Um, I know a lot of people looking for this figure. Um, I, I, I pretty much bought the only ones they had, except this guy took one of them that he was there in the, in the line before me. Not in line, but... He was in the area with the wrestling figures at and picked one up before I got hands of it. And I thought it was no more, but I found two more, so I picked it up. So, guys, let me know what will you offer me for these figures. It's Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. I found two Cody Rhodes in my area. These figures is very hard to find. I was surprised I actually found some more Cody Rhodes figures. I think they just, that Toys R Us has put um, stock um, Series 13 up. Only thing I didn't see is a big show, which I don't want a big show anyway. But I know a lot of people are going online right now. When I watch a lot of people's videos, they're looking for this Cody Rhodes. I have two. I'm willing for trade for the right trade. Now, guys, um, like I said, Certain figures I'm looking for. I'm not trying to get no junk. I don't want no bullshit. I'm not a scammer. You know, I really don't necessarily don't buy figures for everyone. I hook my friends up that I'm real close to, like Tommy. And I know Tommy already got this figure. So I want to see anyone else interested in getting a Cody Rhodes. And they are. What will you give me for this Cody Rhodes? Like I said, I'm not out to brick anyone balls, but I'm not out to be gypped either. Now, this figure going online for like $50, $60, $70, dollars i, I got to check again, but I'm not looking for that type of price. I will trade equal. I will trade fair if I will be able to get the figure I'm looking for. Now, the figures I'm looking for is the figures that's on my, on my channel. Now, some of the figures are basic figures. So, the, for the basic figures, I do look for two basics to get one of these. Now, is there any elites? I'm looking for elite for elite. But the elite gotta be in mint condition. I'm not looking. I'm not asking for three or four figures. I'm not that type of um, person, you know. I try to hook people up, but I'm not trying to get scammed either. You know, we are a community, so I try to help the community out the best way I can. But um, yeah, guys, let me know if you want Cody Rhodes. 
It's man in the box, nothing wrong with the box, series 13. Everything's legit with it. I never open it. Be a minute car if you want me to. If I send it, I can send it in the box, which is gonna cost me some more. So you gotta let me know what you're gonna send me. Like I said, um if anyone asks me, oh I want Cody Rhodes, and don't tell me what you got for Cody Rhodes, what you're willing to give me, then I'm gonna ignore you. So don't even go there, leave me a comment like that. Let me know what you got. Send me a video response or a link to a video that you got your figures. And uh, we can work a, a trade out. If I can't get nothing good for these figures and I feel like I wasted my money, I still have the receipt. I will take it back to Toys R Us to get my money for it. So, guys, just let me know what you got. And um, I know a couple guys missing this figure out your collection. This figure is extremely awesome. Probably the best figure, which no, not even the best. It is the best figure in this series. Series 13 is a very rare figure and must recommend it. For being any true elite collector, you got to have this Cody Rhodes. So, again, guys, 2 on Fire Rare Nation saying thank you for watching my video. Go subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, rate, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you got so we can get this trade going on. Thanks again for watching. Figure Nation Inc. for life. Keep collecting. God bless.